against <laughs> when you play against a player that is just so consistently correct. And that is what Taroko does to a team. And for Mektos as well, a very scary player, always in your face. Look out for him in the midfield. So a good battle looming. And we shall see how things start off in game number one. And currently, it's Asfra into the blue corner. Free ball for Pirates up to the other side. And again, leaving a guaranteed spot speaks wonders to how much faith he's got in his new teammates. But here's a pass to Talon and just off the mark. Turintero to continue the attack. And Asfra to Talon one more time. He has to make sure to get around it all the way. And the drive will fizzle out as we get pushed back onto the orange side of things. And Talon, a welcome clear down to the other side. And Pirates, who return fire into the orange corner. Miss from Pirates. Mektos, again, that very scary player in the midfield. And goodbye, Talon. Oh, he got bumped. And he got bumped into it. Linda helping hand from the defense. And Mektos will deliver the first one for Plot Twist. And he'll take it there. That ball just off the ceiling and down. And the demo is what really opens it up there for Mektos. He puts it away. Whether he got bumped or not, that one was going to go in for him. And for Plot Twist, a fantastic start here as the number five seed. Turinturo in command off the kickoff. Not able to get through to Rocco. It's just an absolute menace on the midfield line. And always being in the right place at the right time. Mektos now tough to get through and no follow-up follow, follow up play as Pirates is actually able to somehow regain command of this ball in the midfield. And Talon, in a very awkward position, will need help from Turin Turo to get this ball out. And right now, it is absolutely Juice trying to figure out a way to get unstuck. Because there are no holes currently out of the midfield line. Is Taroko right there for it? And what Plot Twists are doing is when they don't have an opportunity on net, they're just pushing the ball to space and forcing this Juice team to respect the attack and respect where they're putting the ball and find a way out. And when you don't give them the ball immediately, it creates such a big dilemma on defense. You spread out and you're not in position as much as you'd like. And for Plot Twist, they're doing a great job of finding these gaps. Another one here from Taroko, finding the gap between those two players and pushing themselves on the offense. Mectos around the corner for Taroko and actually Talon in a bit of an awkward spot. Will thankfully get a ball put right on his nose to Asfura and Mektos. Again, he's been on that midfield line every time and it feels like he's always just dumped the ball into the corner and just been willing to force uh, Juice to play this game. Just stuck perpetually on that side. Every team in Rocket League at this level can absolutely play the corner game day in, day out. And the longer that goes on, it will absolutely favor Plot Twist. And this is dangerous now for Juice. An uncontested Whoa. ball off the backboard. A big miss there from the last defender. I believe it was Talon and Mektos. Again, another unassisted a goal for him. Just finding it off the backboard and putting it away himself. And it really has been the inability of Juice to get a long, clear high. They've been able to get it out away from the net but none of them have been high booming clears. They've really been on a line right to the midfield for Mektos to just gobble up. And that time the defense just broke as that actually just punched right away from Turin Turo oh. and make it into the back of the net actually for Turoko out of nowhere, it's three nil. And this ball just comes off the hop of the wall and Turoko touches it downfield. I was gonna say boom, but he really didn't put any force into it. Just came off the skip there. And it happens to be on target. Juice caught out again. We take those. And he will absolutely take them here. A three goal lead now opens up for Plot Twist. And cruising for Plot Twist indeed. Pirates, chance to sit up. And finally a ball to space, but they got to get through Mektos. And again, he beats that first man so easily. And he's got an uncontested pass to Pirates, but follow up a little bit weak right now for Plot Twist. And a chance to transition back the other way for Talon as he's almost able to find a block. Some mind games occurring in the midfield line as Mektos will put this one on a plate for Turin Turo. Out to the midfield, Talon just missing out. And Talon's been so close to making a couple of big challenges. And if he gets his hands on those, could get very scary quickly. 
it was something I was out, about to point out. Talon seems to be really be that first man down the field here for Juice. Always looking for the pass, always looking for the, the flick on. This one's across the box to the Taroko. Finally, an assist comes through here from Plot Twist, and it's Mektos beating the Juice defense. A big bump from both Talon and Tarintaro. And unfortunately, it leads to a goal. And you know, Mektos has beat the first man every time. This time he beats two because they beat each other. And game number one will come to a swift end here as we will count down the final 86 seconds after that kickoff. But Plot Twist, I mean, they, they honestly really didn't have to try too hard in this game number one. A lot of things fell into place for them, and I feel like Juice really got stuck on their own end right Absolutely. off the kickoff. And we really haven't seen too much offense from them in these. Again, I feel like a lot of it is coming from Plot Twist putting the ball into space and making it tough for this Juice squad to find a way out. And we will have a pause as we try and get things sorted out. But uh, plot twist, like you said, really just cruising. Mektos, an absolute monster in the midfield. Three unassisted goals, uh, <laughs> by the way, for plot twist in game number one. And Mektos, the, bi the biggest benefactor of those so far. But Juiced, like you said, stuck in their own half. Uh, Turin Turo not really able to get anything going every now and again. Talon has been so close to making a couple of big plays, which uh, just leaves uh, Asfura, which was Jorby's guy to watch. And I think it was actually my guy to watch on Juiced as well. He really hasn't been able to get anything going here in game number one. Well, it's not just him. All of Juiced really haven't to been be able to yes, get anything to be fair. going. And I feel like it goes back to not only plot twist controlling the possession, but when they don't have possession, they're controlling the space. And more importantly, I pointed out right before we hopped into game number one was Mektos yep. really controlling that midfield and being a nuisance. And really what that means is any ball that's going towards the midfield, Mektos always seems to have the boost and the positioning to get up and, and make it tough for you to push down the field. And that's tough when you have someone like Talon who may be behind the ball towards your attacking net where he's just cutting off every pass to Talon. And Mektos is doing a great job of not letting Juice have any semblance of an attack. Well, while we get the game sorted out here, Mektos has been playing well, but let's go take a look at some of the highlights from earlier matches on in the day, and Roll Diz and Birds and Bees were able to qualify for the rival series with just a phenomenal win against the Dudes, and it was close all the way through, but Birds and Bees really showed some quality uh, approach. Yeah, Birds and Bees really took it to the Dudes late in that series as well, and while the Dudes had sparks of greatness here, Joe Freshness really sticks out in my mind. Unfortunately, Birds and Bees really found form in the second and third games here of this series, and for Birds and Bees, they're able to qualify at the rival series. Well, here's the qualified teams that we've already got from today. Of course, the Peeps and Continuum, the two teams that stayed in the Rival Series from last season. Birds and Bees have just qualified from some of those highlights we just saw, and we literally just saw Afterthought qualify. So both, uh, everybody from old Afterthought, going to be meeting sometime in the Rival Series. I was about to say, a spicy storyline <laughs> developing here as, of course, Afterthought was Birds and the bird, Birds and Bees, and Shock was the only remaining player from that original team to make the new Afterthought. So they're both in the Rival Series. I'm excited to see them go head to head, but we still have four more teams to decide. Yes, and currently Plot Twist uh, just, it, it's a, kind of a slaughter here in game number one against Juice, as again, we are trying to get things sorted out for this game number one between these two teams. But uh, like you said, Mektos has been a monster. Taroko, uh, elaborate a little bit more for me why you think Taroko is such a quality player. So Taroko is one of those players who uh, may not be the, the most flashy player. He may not be the guy who's getting a whole bunch of flip resets, which, mind you, he absolutely can <laughs> do that kind of stuff. But he's one of those guys that makes sure that if you're making mistakes, he's there to make it up for you. And I've actually played with him a couple times, whether it's ranks or six mans, and he's one of those guys that when you have him on your team, you feel like you can do no wrong. Because even when you do mess up, he's there to save you. And when you're playing against him, he punishes you every single time for any missed touch and he always seems to read any mind game mm. he's always reading the passes cutting off lanes he's one of those players that's very frustrating to play against because he's so solid and has a great fundamental understanding of how the game works well i am curious Corelli, because you know you i i hate to admit it but you are better at rocket league than i am <laughs> so do you ever get a chance uh, to play against anybody on juice like turn to uh as or um Talent. Talent. Thank you. Why Absolutely. could I not think of that? <laughs> I play against. I have played some of those guys every once in a while as mm -hmm. well. So I get to see a lot of these players, and honestly, I feel like all uh, both these teams can qualify. So it's really just coming down to how are you playing today, and that's really what the rival series playing is all about. Fair enough. Well, Pirates has had disconnected. We're going to take a short break while we get everything under wraps and ready to go. And when we come back, we will continue with the North American rival series playing. You're currently watching Plot Twist and Juiced, and when we come back, we will continue this great show, great matchup. 
Welcome back, everybody, to the North American Rival Series. These are the teams that have qualified so far today. The Peeps and Continuum, obviously qualifying from last season. Birds and Bees and Afterthought have made it to Season 7 of the North American Rival Series. And we are currently in the middle of Plot Twist versus Juiced. We are in the middle of game number one. Pirates had a little bit of an internet hookup, but he's back and ready to play. So we will be starting at 1 minute and 10 seconds, 4-0. Let's continue. And it has just been all... Uh, plot twist for game number one. Yeah, it's really been a slaughter here so far for Plot Twist. Done a great job of keeping control of the game, keeping control of the ball, and things have been dropping for them as well. Really looking for Juiced. How do they turn this around? How do they get back into this game? And so far, they have not been able to figure it out. Well, Mektos was almost able to turn in another goal and really put an exclamation point on the end of game number one. And we were talking a little bit about it before the break. This is going to be Pirates finding the back of the net. That's a great play coming out from Pirates here. Taroko just kind of throwing the ball down the field. Pirates recognize it. You can see Tarantaro backwards on the net. Can't challenge from that angle. And a great redirect coming out from Pirates to find the back of the net. And so 40 remaining as for uh, to try and get one back. They will find one on the board. Taranto actually off the kickoff. We were speaking a little bit about right before the break. As Fura have been kept relatively quiet comparatively to the game we saw them play earlier before the stream started. Yeah, it was something that Jorbity, uh, Jor Jorbity, Jorby pointed out, and I agree with him, is that Asfira is always that man to, to kind of be a big playmaker for this team, and we really haven't seen too much of it here in this game. It's really been all plot twists. have done a great job of controlling it. While, of course, Juice do get a gold back here, things are looking bleak with 30 seconds left. And they do find a nice long high clear, but, of course, Mektos... Like you were talking about, just a big thorn in the side of Juiced at that midfield line. As this is just bombed back upfield from Taroko and in, into the back of the net. Corelli, explain. It, it, this is how it's been for Plot Twist. Unassisted goals, booming balls down the field, and it feels like nobody can deal with it. You can see Turandero trying to go off his own net out, out of the back, out of the top of the net there, but just can't read it properly. Too late on the play and lets it go in. Emphatic victory for Plot Twist in game number one. We talked a little bit about it on the desk before the series got started. They did come in as the number five seed, and they are absolutely playing like it here. But Juice, the number 13 seed, I mean, it's, it's no small feat to just make them look like amateur hour in game number one. It was dominating. Absolutely. The shots don't do it because we had to restart the game. <laughs> but they absolutely put shot, 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 shot towards the back of the net. So and I, I think if we look at some of these goals, uh, especially a couple in the beginning, and, and especially that last one that we saw from Taroko, and I feel like Juice just really didn't do a good job of seeing how the play was going to develop there. And they kind of gave up some easy goals here for, for plot twists. So... For Juice now, I think that there's going to be a big turnaround here. Losing 6-1 is a little bit out of character from Juice here in this game. And so it's time to turn around. Game number two, do not let this one get out of hand here, especially against a team like Plot Twist, who will keep pushing you into the ground. And it really was just midfield control from Mektos. Like, that entire game was just Mektos saying, you're not getting anything past me. And nothing really did. I, I don't remember the last time I saw the ball on the blue side of the field for longer than 15 seconds. And it was because he was just an absolute monster on the midfield line. So we talked a little bit about it before the break. It was, you're not able to find those long high clears. They were getting decent power on the clears, but they were right at the midfield line, and Mektos was always right there for it. So in game number two, looking to find the clears into space for Juiced and any space you can buy yourself will be beneficial and will be an improvement over game one. And I think it's about just finding possession here for Juice because they really haven't had any possession. They haven't had a lot of chances on net. Of course, they score the one goal with 39 seconds left in game number one. But for the most part, it felt like Juice really couldn't find themselves in this game in the first game. So trying to bounce back now here in game number two, it's all about possession for Juice. And Talon was close to making a couple of big challenges to really put the pressure on Plot Twist in game number one. He was he really was the guy cherry picking up field and <laughs> Mektos gets a little help from his teammate. A bump on the line opens the door and 16 in, we're on the board. And you can't let a player like Mektos have a free ball off the backboard. It's like he's playing training here. Nobody home here from Juice and of course, uh, some physical play there on the goal line coming out from some teammates from Mektos, but still 
Great play from him to follow that one up, and it's pretty cut and dry there. you got to have someone on the backboard to challenge Mektos. He will put that one home every single time. Ooh, Mektos wins the challenge and finds the demo in a huge block coming out from Plot Twist as this one's right on the line. Pirates at the top of the box for Mektos down the gut, and as Fura to kick that one to the side. Talon trying to force a challenge, and this is exactly what they needed, just to clear into space to buy them some map presence and get them the ability to challenge the midfield line. Unfortunately, though, the resource is not in their favor, and they had to give that space right back. Mektos again slowing up the transition here from Juiced. We've called it out many times, and he's still performing so well in the midfield. Now trying to find some sort of attack here is Juiced over Taroko's head, but no boost for Torrentaro is going to make this one a little bit tough. Still try to push this one across the net. It's actually wide open, oh. and Talent's going to put it home. A tie game now for Juiced. They were able to get past that midfield line that's been such a problem. They go right through Taroko on the corner, and Mektos and Pirates just tie each other up a little bit. A little bit of miscommunication will indeed cost them a goal, and that is the second goal of the series on the board for Juiced. It's been a, a tough go here for Deuce, Deuce, but still staying with this one here with Plot Twist, not letting it get out of hand, but still already threatening is Taroko. Not able to find the net there, but still for Deuce, trying to find a way out now. And really enjoying that dribble attempt from Juiced. It might not have got through Mektos, but the second opportunity he has. And as for a right down into the middle, Talon again trying to force a plot twist into a really tough position with a big challenge, and he's just so close. As that one will kick right to the midfield line for Azfura. Torrentaro is all the way playing defense, and he will have to buy his teammates time here. And a wise touch into the corner, also a quality double touch. But unfortunately, he'll follow through a little bit too slow, and he will let Talon take command. It's already a better game here from Juice. You see they're controlling their offensive corners as well. That's a great pass out. Looking for someone as for uh, it was Turnthrow great, to come. Great play. And he finally does. A one-goal lead opens up for Juice. Brilliant idea. Talent, yes, quality pass. But as for uh, the real play is letting that one go because he had no speed. And if he even touched that ball, it was going to get cleared away. So letting your teammate take command on that play, brilliant selfless play. And for Juice now finding themselves in the lead for the first time in this series, in game number two in particular. Plot twists have definitely slowed down their attack, not finding these free balls into the corner, but here they come. Pirates rips one to the back nice post, demo. and of course it's going to go in off the demo. Great play between Mektos and Pirates. It really does come straight off the kickoff, and it's just Mektos able to win two. I mean, he wins one challenge, but he beats two defenders, and he basically beat the entire Orange team by himself. Pirates is just a matter of technique. That was all Mektos. Bringing down the ball and forcing those defenders to think about their decisions on defense. Pays off here for Plot Twist. Roko getting his flip back off the ceiling. It's going to come straight down to Mektos. Another defensive mistake here for Juice and Plot Twist make them pay. That is the second time in this series that we've seen this happen. An, a clear off the back wall just missed from Juice. And it was Mektos once again to capitalize on it and the lead almost instantly right back over to Plot Twist. And it's those mistakes that really do cost you games because this game could be tied right now, and who knows, it goes to overtime. But now with that one mistake, it could be the difference maker. And for Juice, you felt like they were just getting things going. They regained the lead or got the lead for the first time in this series, period. But all of a sudden, Plot Twist really forcing it down the middle of the field and telling Juice that we're going to take back the lead. Taroko in an awkward spot. Sets one up for Talon down towards the middle of the blue net and just bombed upfield. Not as much power as you might initially have thought, though, and it allows Turin Turo to turn on the ball and get that one out to the midfield line for Mektos. Free ball for Talon. To the blue corner. Pirates to return fire and just all the way down to the orange corner. Turin Turo already there, and Taroko will try to do the exact same thing. Great pass there from Talon. And Juice are really starting to have some confidence on offense and keeping the ball, finding each other downfield. Another great pass Ooh. out. It's a shot from Talon. It actually Ooh. drops for Juice. A tie game. I wasn't sure if this one was going to find its way into the back of the net, but Turin Turo just able to beat one, but what a shot from Talon. And I don't know if the double commit there from Plot Twist actually cost them a goal or not because it feels like one of them might have been able to have a clear and the other might have muscled it right into the net. You'd have to have a second look at it, but uh -oh. Either way, off the kickoff, as for a, with a huge touch, and Mektos to try and force the issue. 
and cleared aside by Turin Turo. Either way, juiced, a quality equalizer. And they're looking better and better as soon as I said it too, finding each other in the midfield, making things tough for Plot Twist. Is it the name of the game right now for Juice? It's been too easy. Oh. That one off the crossbar for Taroko. Can't find the back of the net. Still an opportunity for Mectos. Back that post. Applies. You've got it. Back in the lead is Plot Twist. Patience, patience, and patience off the midfield line for Mectos. It was all just stuck, and he waited to commit for that play before he knew he was going to have a quality shot on net. He didn't want to commit too early because he knew his teammates hadn't rotated out and wouldn't be able to deal with the counterattack if he got beat. And quality patience nets him a nice clean goal. And so Juice have been able to go toe and toe here against Plot Twist. A big demo maybe, an open net, two Take demos. Two. He lands on it, puts it away. We're tied up just like that. Eight seconds after giving up the go-ahead goal. And Turin Turo will be unassisted, but everyone knows as for uh, with the two big demos, gets, a, gets an asterisk in the scorebook for that one. And a, just a brilliant equalizer off the kickoff and huge plays from Asfura. We were just saying, do more. Well, he's done a great job here in game two. So Juice really coming alive here. Another big bump. Taroko is able to turn that one away. But for Juice now, thinking about how do we close out of game, they, out of this game, they've done much better here against Plot Twist. Less midfield control coming out from a player like Mektos. Pirates almost finding the net out there out of nowhere. The Juice defense not ready for it. Taroko now dropping this one down. And Mektos finally giving up the ball in the corner for Plot Twist. Trying to find the back post as Pirates not able to here. Taroko into the corner looking He's for the follow up. Mectos. This one's downfield for Asfura. Will it drop? No! Oh, 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 oh. Off the crossbar. It's still juiced. Fighting for that go ahead goal. And Talon actually makes a nice little chip on the ball, but Taroko just didn't have any other way to, but to put it into the corner. Turin Turo tries to put a tough shot on target. Another demo coming out, but it will be overtime. And now you stare at this one and think, man, if they didn't give that free goal up, it'd be tied one to one, but they got a battle here. And this actually holds a lot more weight than you might imagine. And it will be Taroko to clear to Mektos. Quick transition in progress for Plot Twist. Down into the middle, Taroko, weak shot as Fura's tied up oh. and the diving save from Turin Turo to keep things clear. Things getting dicey from Juice, but they stand tall here as Plot Twist reset on the rotation. Juice, or excuse me, Plot Twist getting the better of Juice here in the first 30 seconds of overtime. Can Juice respond? And it all starts with how they get this ball away from their own goal, Talon. Almost just own goal, game number two away. And so fortunate his teammate didn't get bumped. So uh, a heart stopper for a moment, but they will find the clear over onto the blue half, and here's Taroko. Juice, it's been a rough go here in overtime, and they're not even a minute in. Taroko almost knocks oh, that no, one again. down. Mektos is hunting, but maybe Talon might have caught him out. This one goes up and over his head a minute into overtime now, and Juice have not had any sort of offense. It's been all plot twist. Oh, weak touch to Rocco. Back wall. Pirates is up early. Talon with a great read on the back wall already, and Mekto is going to have to scamper back to his own corner. And he's got to contend with Asfura here out of the corner. Pirates to give him a little bit of breathing room. And Turin Turo now in charge on the, on the blue side. Taroko over the midfield line. Mektos clean beat by Asfura. Turin Turo waiting at the top of the box. He's going to give way to Talon. As Mektos, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. But either way, we will return to a neutral game as Taroko puts one into the orange corner. Mektos waiting. It will cut it off. Bounce straight to the top of the box. And it, the first one there will be Turin Turo. And you're seeing a lot more struggle come out from Juice here in this overtime as opposed to the regular timed game here in game number two. And that's because Plot Twist is doing a lot better job of keeping up the speed, really turning it on here. And Juice have been, Juice been playing to this speed for the entire game, and all of a sudden things have changed up from Plot Twist. And Juice have just not been able to adapt in the first two minutes of overtime. Ooh, Pirates able to win a tough challenge against the side wall, but a weak follow-up touch, however, has given Asfura some space to work with. But Mektos, again, such a problem on the midfield line. Sets one up for Pirates to the top of the box. They can't figure out the passing lane. And a great placed ball will net game number two to Plot Twist. That's a great recognition there from Taroko to realize he's got Pirates coming from the midfield. All he has to do is set it up. The back post shot falls through for Pirates. And Plot Twist take two games over Juiced here. And what has been game number one, a dominating showing. And for game number two, night and day. Uh, for Juice, at least, it's been much better. 
But for plot twist, they really changed it up in that overtime. They looked much better. It's something that we saw in game number one. We kind of saw the same uh, uh, play style come out from plot twist in the overtime, and that's what really led, leads them to a win. And even though you can see on the scoreboard, Taroko was there at the bottom of the scoreboard with no goals, two assists, one save, and three shots, he still racked up 505 points, and that really brings home what you were talking about. He's not exactly the most flashy guy. He's just where he needs to be, and even then, he's getting the job done for plot twist as Mektos put in one heck of an offensive showing there again, time and time again on that midfield line, just unbeatable right now and for juice now backs against the wall here in the upper bracket you're trying to qualify for a rival series spot you're down two games you go toe and toe in game number two and yeah. it was a much better showing from them but what's the difference and for juice it's about getting a lead and then holding on to it because plot twists have really done a good job of responding back and being explosive on offense Absolutely. to get two more goals and put you back in the hole. So for Juiced, it this was a great game for them. They just got to hold on to their leads. And it really was just that one mistake off the back wall that they could have won in regulation and now they're going to have to battle for three games straight if they want to make it into the rival series and it's all going to start here. And as for uh, doing much better job in game number two making things happen, Talon and Turin Turo battling for possession. Can they rinse and repeat and tighten the screws a little bit? And already, Mektos off the kickoff is setting up tough plays to deal with just because of the limited amount of resources off kickoff plays. And Turin Turo will actually return the favor with a great touch of his own. All right. to the top of the box and a banger from Turin Turo. Talon to the top. And it will be 16 seconds and into the back for Juice. That's a great way to start off this game if you're Juice. The pass down, finding each other in the box in the offensive third is so crucial for Juice. And they do it there in explosive fashion, getting the first goal of the game and setting the tone that they don't want to go out. And the speed of both the pass and shot, probably the biggest contributing factors from that close to the net. And Mektos, for once, not really able to generate a quality touch. And it allows a quick transfer out from Talon into the midfield, and they got fortunate as Fura really couldn't get a handle on that one. As Mektos, a jumping save, and Taroko to clear past the midfield line. Turin Turo caught cheating too far forward, and that little concession might be just enough of space for Plot Twist to get things going in their favor. But it is currently as Fura off the back wall for Taroko, and an easy clear, and pressure mounting for Juiced. Turinturo going to make them all think a little bit. And Mektos just makes his car as big as possible. Set it up and out for Pirates to clear the ball away. And now it's Plot Twist's turn trying to stay on the attack. As Fura doing a good job getting more and more involved. He has been a little bit quiet here in this series. Whoa, they catch Taroko just a little bit too far forward. One player grabbing boost in the corner. The other just does not make a great touch on the ball. And Pirates... You imagine he was really trying to launch that one forward, and that might be why uh, Tur uh, Taroko was caught a little bit too far, expecting to go follow that ball up the field. So here's what we were talking about in the intermission, Achieves, is you're up two goals now. Now the pressure's off. You're in the lead, in a comfortable lead with a little bit of a cushion. You don't have to force anything, but as soon as I say a plot twist, march down the field off into the corner, and they find Mektos at the top of the box. And straight off the kickoff, it's just all the pressure and talent. There's no other excuse. you got to come up with that touch. And again, a mistake will let Plot Twist right back into the game. So again, now for Juice, still, they've lost their cushion, but still with the goal lead Ooh. and doing much better in this game, finding each other. Talent opts to try and pick up this ball and go on to a dribble, but of course, met by Mektos. And it was great recognition for Mektos on how fast he could go and challenge that ball because he saw the pickup on the dribble wasn't the cleanest thing. Turin Turo, it would have been a beautiful shot. He was, he was able to put it on target. However, this one out to the middle for Pirates and just tipped to the side. Talon on a race and not able to get the bounce he really wanted. Pirates to Turoko, missed touch, free ball for Turin Turo and Asfura. Stolen away by Pirates, top of the box, and a bump as well in the midfield will make things a little bit of hectic here for Juice as they get tied up in the corner a little bit. But they seem to have recovered nicely as it was a little bit slow on the pickup from uh -oh. Plot Twist. But Mektos is not able to muscle it through a jumping Juice player. And Plot Twist are starting to do what they did in game number one and just be a menace on their offensive third and make life so tough for Juice to break out constantly in the face of the defenders. 
But Juice have done well here. They're able to break out. That ball might be collected here by Talon. He does get the touch. Turin Trio trying to follow this one up on the delay. Wow. Reads that play perfectly and keeps the ball in. He's very smart on his approach on that challenge. However, Pirates has been able to find a clear, but slow pickup from Taroko will allow Turin Trio to keep the ball on the blue half. But a big hole from Asfero who didn't want to close the gap. And now they'll have to just ping pong this ball a little bit as Pirates wants to make sure his team has command for a few moments. Dribble to the back and cleared away onto the orange half. Taroko will set up a touch. Pirates was after a demo, or at least a bump on Turin Turo, but they will command the corner boost. Leave the ball for Mektos. Back wall, free ball for Pirates, and he's trying to figure out how to challenge. I think he was expecting a different pass, and he just didn't have the positioning to cut across and put it on net. A minute and 30 left now for Plot Twist to try and close out the series and for Juice to stay alive. Oh, great Mektos command. out to Taroko. You got two to bite there, Talon and Turintero, but still, the defense holds strong for Juice and they get out. Mektos unable to find a clear over Turintero and a big tip right in the middle of the orange, or in the blue box, excuse me, as Pirates will find a clear to the midfield line and Mektos not again able to win a challenge. Dribble from Taroko with space through one. Through two, Pirates, if he can reach this one and find Mektos, it's a scary transfer opportunity. However, nobody home except for Orange players. And the drive will stall a little bit for Plot Twist. Now that's a great challenge there coming out from Talon. Two win from Juiced, and he was still able to stay with the play to prevent that double commit from really biting him. But still Plot Twist now trying to find that backboard. It's been a little bit of a weak part of Juice game here. It's been exposed a couple times, and here's Mektos finding the back of the net. Pirates linking up with 32 seconds left, and they tie up the game. And they catch them, trying to all can run over to that corner to maybe grab that boost. Not sure what Asfiro was thinking. He was the man on the line, and he just followed his teammate up that back wall. And then you kind of have that second thought of, hang on a minute, I just took myself out of position. And that was all that Plot Twist needed to find that ball into the back of the net from Mektos. And a huge equalizer late in the game. Looking like the last game here for Juice. Now, having a lead, two goals early on in this game. And remember, they haven't scored since the 344 mark. It's been just about three minutes and 45 seconds since, we, since we've seen a goal for them. And Ooh. for Juice, think time is running out. And it will make its way to overtime here for game number three. Plot twist looking to clean sweep their way into the rival series and Juiced. Looking to rectify on a couple of big mistakes that have let a couple of big goals from Plot Twist back into the game. Pirates wins a uh -oh, huge Taroko's challenge. Taroko's there. there and punched into the back of the net. 3-0 sweep for Plot Twist. The number five seed will qualify for the rival series. And it was a fantastic win here for Plot Twist. Looking like a very strong team coming out of the play-ins. They come through. They sweep the number 13 seed in Juiced. And they say hello to the North American Rival Series. Well, how about Mektos in the midfield? Taroko always being as needed and Pirates as well. Quality on the line and able to follow up a couple of opportunities on the midfield. It was an all-around uh, great showing from Pirates. And, of course, Pirates says hello again to everyone <laughs> yes. as he comes back to the Rival Series after leaving the Peeps. So, again, another spicy storyline uh, adding up here as after leaving the Peeps, he gets back into it and has a chance to take down his former team. Well, it's not the end of the road quite yet for Juice. They will go down into the lower bracket, and that will conclude our piece about Plot Twist versus Juice. And when we come back, the desk is going to break everything down, and we will continue on with the North American Rival Series play-ins. We'll be right back.